As you probably noticed, when you're shopping for a robot vacuum, the software isn't covered very thoroughly at all. Even YouTube videos don't cover the software. So you really don't have a lot of idea of all the functions you get until you actually get the robot. So here I'm going to cover the DBOT 950, which is also the same as the DBOT T5. The 950 was just rebranded T5. Most of the features here will also be on the 920. Kind of gives you an idea on what you'll be looking at, looking at. First off, I want to go over the most important options on the menu. For some reason, advanced mode up here at the top was uh, defaults to off. It doesn't do hardly anything if it's off. It doesn't save your map. You can't do any of the extra bells and whistles. So you want to be sure this is on. If you notice here in advanced mode, it saves your map. It allows you to label and merge and divide areas. It allows you to custom cleaning, virtual boundaries, and multi-mapping. So you want to be sure that's on before you get started. Another thing you want to be sure is on is continuous cleaning. For some reason, this is also defaulted to off. Continuous cleaning is basically, if your battery runs low, It'll go back to the docking station, recharge, and then continue on with the job. Without this option turned on, it goes back to the docking station and it, you're done with. So you want to make sure, especially until you know your vacuum, you want to be sure this is on. Then you got your different vacuum power levels. You have quiet, which quiet is usually you want to use that in the mopping mode. You, can, you don't have to, but most people use it in the mopping mode so you won't be sucking up any water. Also, it's very good for mapping. It uses a lot less battery. If you have a problem in your mapping, if you have to start over, you're much less likely to have to re fully recharge your vacuum before you start over. Standard mode is very good for hard surfaces does very thorough job cleaning. Max mode gives you much more suction for carpet. Um, Max plus, it's there. I can small percentage of increase in the suction. I can't hear the difference. It seems to use a little more battery, so I'm guessing it's there. But take take that how you want it. Um, then let's go to the cleaning schedule. There's two different types of cleaning schedules. You have auto clean and area clean. Auto clean, that will clean everything that's mapped. Area clean, that allows you to select what areas you want vacuumed and in what order. Let's see. For the mopping, you have water flow level, low, medium, high, ultra high. That will all be your personal preference for your floor. Also, for mopping, you have clean cloth reminder. You can set it up to remind you 30 minutes to an hour that you want to clean your cloth to keep, keep your floor cleaner. Do not disturb. The only reason I thought this might be a good use is if your battery does run low, it goes back to the docking station and it re fully recharges in the middle of the night. You don't want it going off in the middle of the night, waking anybody up. You can say do not disturb, so it'll wait till in the morning to actually vacuum. Something you want to be very careful down, down here, there's re Reset current map. It's very easy to get to. Very easy. I don't know why they put it there. But you delete the map. It deletes everything. You have to start all over mapping everything. So you want to be very careful with that. Accessory usage. Basically just gives you an idea on your components. How long they've been used. And gives you a recommendation on when they need to be changed. Voice report, 
that's kind of important. Basically, it's most important when it goes back to the docking station. It'll tell you, it made a connection. It'll tell you, I'm charging. So you know it's charging. It'll be ready for next time. It's very frustrating. You get ready to vacuum and find out it didn't actually make any connection. It didn't recharge. And you have not enough battery to do your job. So it's very, the voice report's very nice. You can also check whether it's charging via your app, but it's nice to have that security. You can rename. Some people, they get very original on this, but I don't, so. Um, but you can name it anything you want. On help, basically just some basic Q&As, instruction manuals. Uh, the most important th thing down here is live chat and send message, live chat during b the business hours. You can chat with somebody, hopefully get an answer quickly by just chatting with them on more complex issues. You can send a message just as exactly the same as sending an email. About the bot, here you can change your measuring feet or meters. Uh, also, it gives you your firmware version and that you are up to date. You're going to get two types of firmware. There's going to be a uh, force firmware where it will force you to uh, update your firmware before you continue on, and then firmware where you just install at your own convenience. Network information will give you kind of what lets you know what type of signal you have. Um, find my D-Bot very basic you just press that your vacuum says I am here that's all there is to it but you can also find your vacuum via the map so it's kind of redundant but it's there um, here you have auto cleaning well, here you have the blue dot that's showing where your vacuum is as long as, as long as it knows where it's at, you'll see that blue dot. Have auto, that vacuums everything that's been mapped. Um, area cleaning, that gives you your different rooms. You select what rooms you want mapped and in what order you want mapped. Custom, oh, and also on area cleaning, you can select one or two times you want those rooms clean. Custom, basically say I want to vacuum that area you want to do it one or two times and it just does that area you selected now here you have over here the plug on the bottom left during while it's vacuuming it has two options you can cancel the job or simply return it to the charging dock now here on the left side bottom left you have this little folded map this is where things get a bit obscure. You click on it, you see multi-floor mapping, say I don't use multi-floor mapping, I don't need this, be done with it. But you have to click on the map to go further. Once you click on that map, it gives you virtual boundaries, edit area, label areas, and delete. And also has this neat little Wi-Fi that'll show you your Wi-Fi strength in your house virtual boundaries, you have where you square or line, no mob zone, square on where you don't want it to mop, edit areas, you can merge two areas, select two areas and merge them, make them one room, or divide areas, um, so you click it, and then you see this down here, it'll give you a line, and you put the line where you want to divide the room and it'll divide the room for you. A delete, that's deleting your map. You want to be very careful with that also. Um, so yeah, that, that's kind of obscure. I don't know why they put that there, but uh, over here at the top, you yeah, have sharing robot. You can share your robot to another person, um, which 
Um, it, you can also just log in, use your login on that other person's device. It does the same thing. There's actually a new robot that's out that has a camera that will not allow you to share share it and basically they just tell you just log in on the other device with the same login there it does exactly the same thing robot messages this is just telling you everything the robot has told you battery low clean complete whatever notifications this is all your support emails they'll give you all that list there also up here at the top you have when you get your set up your vacuum, there'll be a QR code at the top of the vacuum. You scan it, and then it'll help you set up, go through the steps of setting up the Wi-Fi. Over here, got a little bit settings. United States or country, region, language, additional settings, push notification, other, this and that. If you run into an issue, one thing you can try is clear the cache, see if that fixes your issue. Um, that's just something to try. So, uh, then, um, Help and feedback, add a robot, it's very basic. This about covers it. Hopefully this will help you. I'm familiar with most of the other vacuums, what they have and what they don't have. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I have a Facebook group, DBOT Tips, Tricks, and Troubleshooting. You're welcome to join that. We answer questions. We try to troubleshoot issues of any problem anybody's having. Hopefully this will help you, and uh, you have a good day. Thanks.